You finally came. Hey guys, welcome to KeenCast, and today we're doing a special STEM project. If you don't know what STEM means, the S is for science, T, technology, E, engineering, and M for math or mathematics. And today we're going to be making some borax crystals. You'll be needing some borax, pipe cleaner, ruler, pencil, and paper, and water, and food coloring. The first thing is math in this. You have to measure the pipe cleaner. So, this pipe cleaner, I'm using inches. You don't have to use inches. This is about 12 inches. We're not just gonna make a normal crystal experiment. We're gonna make the crystals into my name. Think of it as a neon sign. All the all the letters are connected. We have to we have to know how many lines your name will be. So for me, we do that. So this is the first part. This is part of the X. Then that's the I. Then. We make the eye go down again. Then we make an A. Then we make like upside down D. And then we make the N. And this is my name. This is what it's supposed to look like when you draw it. So let's count how many lines I drew for my name. Or you could count how much lines you did for your name. I did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. I did eight lines for my name. So, you know that this, the pipe cleaner has to be 12 inches. So now you have to divide the pipe cleaner with eight lines. And this is where the math comes from. So, this, the lines have to be one and a half inch then you have to bend whichever way. So you measure one and a half, and then you have to bend. Oh, I can't do it. Now that we got our one and a, one and a half line, now we have to bend it eight times. So this is one, two, three. Okay, so now you see the pipe cleaner, and I bent it into eight line segments. And now my dad is cutting the pipe cleaner for the X and the A. And then he put them together. Now he's doing the I by twisting it. And now he's doing the A. And now he's doing the A. A, he's, he's bending it nice and tight. Now he's doing the end. He's already done with the end. Now he's putting rubber bands, but you don't have to use rubber bands. You could use string or fishing line. And then we boiled some hot water and then we poured it into a pyrex measuring cup and then we put in the borax my dad stirred it until it dissolves you'll know it's saturated when when all the bo when borax is on the bottom and it won't dissolve and now my dad's putting in 20 drops of blue food coloring now he's putting my name into the borax solution. We also added 20 drops of yellow food coloring because my favorite color is green. And blue and yellow makes green. 
Remember when we first started? We used hot water. This expands the borax crystal molecules, allowing us to supersaturate the solution. That simply means we could get more crystals in it. As it cools down, the crystals contract. When they contract, they cling to surfaces like the walls, and most importantly, the pipe cleaner. Here they are, guys. These are the finished product. This is the borax crystals. So, um, thank you guys for watching this video of KingCast. Don't forget to comment down below and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell for notifications. Goodbye. KingCast, KingCast, signing out.